I've seen estimates between six and 19 billion dollars lost to ad fraud in 2019, and that's just expected to increase uh, as time, you know, for the next few years. Um, and that sort of translates, I've seen estimates about 20% of an ad campaign's budget is lost to ad fraud. So huge amounts of money um, lost to the companies and gained by the fraudsters. Well, for advertisers, obviously they've got a budget dedicated to user acquisition and um, if their users aren't people, that money is poorly spent. So therefore it's important to make sure that the money you're spending on your advertising budget is going to real humans so you can actually see a return on that investment. If you don't monitor your traffic, you're just not going to be sure that that money is being best uh, spent as well as it could be. Um, if you are a publisher, you know, if you have a website, you want to make sure that the people coming to your websites are human also. You don't want a bot scraping your inventory or trying to do a brute force attack, uh, you know, a credit card or, or guessing um, user logins. And if you're in the industry of um, MBAS and direct carrier billing, it's even more important to make sure that your traffic is uh, human and clean because if it's fake traffic, if it's fraudulent traffic, you are actually uh, uh, might be in, uh, involved in stealing from an end user. You know, it's people like you and me who have mobile phones who find ourselves subscribed to these premium offers when we didn't mean to, and that's money that comes out of our pockets. So it's it's quite important to, to keep an eye on your traffic uh, for various reasons. You know, mostly reputational risk. It's it's robots, you know, programmed by humans. So the bad guys are the humans who program their robots and then monitor them. And, and update them and tweak them so there's obviously a lot of humans involved behind the scenes to make sure that their robots are uh, stealing efficiently and um, you know today it's uh, apps are the new bots you know they're not servers they're not your internet routers they're not your desktop computers they're not your laptop computers which is what they were in the past the botnets were, were formed by these devices today um, the bots are your mobile phone and my mobile phone because they're always on always on and they're extremely powerful and actually uh, 3G traffic is much more valuable than uh, Wi-Fi traffic. Uh, but what we do in Optics is we analyze every visit, every individual click on its way to our customers landing pages. So what um, we ask about 300 different questions of the of the device, um, of the uh, headers, of the IP address, and using that information we can uh, with a very very high degree of certainty uh, know whether that traffic is fraudulent or not. And if it is fraudulent, we can stop it before it arrives at our customers pages, thereby, therefore preventing these uh, fraudulent subscriptions for example, which end up hurting end users and customers. Well, I think the most uh, common scenario is a, a case of an offer, of a landing page, of an advertisement being shown to nobody, right? Nobody's looking at it. And uh, we have very uh, clear ways to detect that, that for example, this offer was never rendered on a screen. Um, there was no person looking at it. It occurred in a background process. So it's pretty obvious if that um, advertisement is not being shown on a screen, no one's looking at it. And that's really what 99% of the fraud is.